I am a member of a family that's been cultivating cotton for the last 65 years now. We, we were one of the first farms in this area of Turkey that is doing a better cotton initiative. Speaking about Orta Anadolu's uh, strategic thinking about BCI, we consider BCI as the way of the future of cotton. So cotton is the raw material that we use and without cotton, our business will not be existing. Basically, we want to transform cotton production, working with BCI, BCI working globally. We are working in Turkey. And the main aim is actually make a sustainable cotton mainstream commodity. <laughs> We believe that by using BCI's methodology, we will reduce the stress on the environment and on the social part of cotton production globally. For the people that think about the future of the sector, this is the way of having cotton sustainably around for long term. Every generation of farmers, I think they have to improve uh, from the previous generation. So, what I can do is I will grow cotton like my family, like my parents, but I have to, I can do these things differently, using less hazardous stuff, providing a better environment for our workers. Better Cotton Initiative is actually giving me a list of things to do to achieve these ends, and I am using it uh, happily. First of all, I'm a cotton producer. At the same time, I am a junior in Turkey and also I am the chairman for the National Cotton Council of Turkey. To use this cotton with BCI name and certification, let's say, uh, it's a big advantage for textile industry because there are a lot of junior who is working in Turkey, but if you have BCI, you are preferable junior in Turkey, it's very important. We set up this year in 2013, but work started in 2011. And first uh, talks with BCI started with the leadership of National Cotton Council of Turkey and sector leaders. So this year we have our first harvest and we are aiming 13,000 metric ton of lint harvested. And to reach that aim, we worked with 310 farmers and approximately in 8,000 hectares. In order to work in that wide area, uh, we had to work with implementing partners and uh, we were very successful working with them and we used their knowledge about cotton and uh, we gave some trainings about production principles of BCI, which includes uh, nature conservation, soil health, reducing uh, the effect of pesticides, right amount of usage of water, decent work issues. All these issues we worked with farmers and trained them. BCI has checks and balances and uh, in different parts of the growing phase we are actually going through inspections and to see if everything is done right. Farmers are happy because they're not just using local practices but also internationally recognized standards. Of course we got some cost, but this is not a cost of a genie. This is cost of uh, engineering only. But uh, in the future, you know, when the farmer is going to learn everything, applying, producing systems, whatever, then this cost will decrease quickly and maybe one day we won't have any cost about it. This cotton that is grown uh, with this criteria is very sought out in the textile world because big brand companies, they also want their textiles to be produced from a cotton 
that is produced with better conditions, better initiative. The price will be determined by supply and demand in the market and there's I think enough demand to make the producers wanting to do this. Nowadays BCI is at the starting stage, at the beginning stage and the supply of better cotton is very limited. As a result we have to pay premium for buying better cotton from the market. By doing so we are not charging any extra cost that we effectively faced in the market. Our interest is how we can increase the supply of better cotton in the world. So Orta Anadolu is strongly committed to BCI implementing partners in Turkey. People are going to see that it will have a premium and it will be a more conscious uh, growing, more professional way of growing the cotton. And when people see that, for example, my farm will benefit from it, they will start doing it themselves. In the long run, we will keep this beautiful country as it is, as we still continue to produce cotton for the sector, for the people that produce it, and for the future of our children. There's never an end to the things that we can improve in our farming sector. BCI was one factor that is motivating us further, but hopefully there will be more criteria and more developments that we will actually bring to this farm in the future.